we were just talking about our, our kids won't see the inside of a public school. Pull your kids. Uh, but that doesn't help, really, because, I mean, it helps our kids right now, but it doesn't help the long run because we lose the nation. Help me with two things. We have about two minutes. Um, what should people expect when they start this fight? What is going to be thrown at them? And what do they do first? They're going to hear that there's misinformation out there, and uh, they'll hear, well, we're doing this for the children. This is for the right. children for better education. So, but, but what they need to do is, uh, in many of the states now, there's, there's activist groups that are pushing legislation and talking to their legislators. That's what they need to do. We need to get back to the idea of citizen-directed government. Local, local. Yeah, calling up your legislator and say, what are you doing to get us out of this? What, what we have to do is this has happened so stealthily that most of the public has never heard of it, doesn't know what it is. These activist groups have to educate the public, and the public has to contact their local state legislators and say, we want this gone. They will say, uh, you watch, because it's happened in Texas, we're going to get rid of one, but they'll slip another one in under a different name. Um, and so you have to be vigilant, and really the power has to be returned to the, to the people. And protect your medical records. Um, huh. Uh, by all costs, by all means, protect your medical records, get straight answers from your, your schools, your school districts, your state legislatures, because where it sits right now, I'm confused, and I'm a, I'm a professional in the field and an activist, and I have no idea. It is, um, I can't emphasize enough, and I said this on the radio today, um, this one's for the whole ball of wax. Um, there's a lot of things that we're fighting. Um, but this one, it, it, I mean, GE said it best. For lasting change, this has to be done. That's what this is about. You lose control of your information, your life. You lose control of your children and what's best for them. And they lose control of their liberty and their free agency, their ability to choose. Um, people are going to say yeah, this is a conspiracy theory and, uh, and uh, to disregard it. I beg you, do not take my word for it. Don't take anybody else's word for it. Read the documents themselves from the federal government. They are far more horrifying than we have talked about on the program. Believe me. Thanks. We'll meet again and talk some more about it. Follow it all at The Blaze. Back in a minute.